everybody, it's me, Tabby. I got this idea from one of my fr YouTube friends, Just Add Color. She's showing what she, you know, has done for the half of the month. But I think I'm going to just show y'all what I have been working in, which is the Rachel Mintz Skulls Yard Grayscale Art Coloring Book. I've been making a lot of shorts. And so I was going to show you this book and maybe one other that I've been working in a little bit here and there. Um, but right now it's just this one. And like I said, this is Rachel Mintz Skull's Yard Grayscale Art Coloring Book. And the shorts that I've been making is all about, you know, from this book here. And I have been using my... This right here. Yeah, ones that I had got from Christmas, Christmas from my sister-in-law. And I'm going through them so fast that I'm using them all up. <laughs> um, I love how they color. They're awesome. They're smooth as butter. That's all I can say. They're smooth as butter. But they do tend to bleed just a little bit over the line of where you color. And so you have to be careful. Um, the, and I've been also been using these here. My Twin Markers Classic Tones, Skin Tones, and Hair Tones. And... Um, I, you know, skin, hair, and lips, and, you know, been using these here, and I have already did testing and made videos out of these, as well as the, the red snowflake bag that I just showed, yeah, okay, so let's just go through what I've been doing so far, let me move these things out of my way. Everywhere I look on my desk, it's cat hair, cat dander, and hair. What is that? Oh, that's okay. So, this is by Rachel Mintz. This was the first one I did, which, which was Friday the 13th. I did this one here. I figured I'd do a little bit of of the hearts for Valentine's. <laughs> so Valentine's is coming up. So I'm starting to do things. They have like hearts in them and stuff like that. And I did this one on the 13th. Friday 13th as well. Don't you just like how it shows on the back like that? Double feature. <laughs> This is cute. I like this. I was a little bit conflicted what colors I should put up there, but it came out pretty good. <coughs> and that was January 13th as well. This was on the 14th. I don't know if y'all can actually see the colors. Well, her hair is not black. It shows black on the camera, but it is like a dark chocolate a brown. And I two-toned, you know, I, I tried my best to, to do what I could on her. It came out really pretty good. And I do, and I have been not only using uh, the markers that I just showed, but I've also been using the uh, Sharpies that my daughter-in-law and my son got me for Christmas. <coughs> This was the 14th of January, and this is, I like how this is. I thought they were full butterflies, but they're not. It's like they're blooming just butterfly wings, and this here is like a blue on the inside. I don't know if y'all can actually see the blue, and with the clouds in his eyes. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I've been kind of congested and coughing a little bit today. I think I'm getting another chest cold, which is going to suck. And this is my favorite one. I don't like how the watercolors. Now, I did use a watercolor marker on for the background, and this is what happened. But it kind of made it look like it's going to pop out like a 3D. 
but yeah I don't like the watercolor around it it's aggravating but I guess it's, it's I mean it still looks nice and I used all different colors of oranges and reds and the black and I tried to shade around it with um, my black pencil to make it like a 3d pop out and then this when I went to go color it with the, like the cool gray shade but it which is a watercolor marker Again, I don't like watercolor markers because they will tend to stain like that, and it's a bit aggravating. But I think, yeah, and I did this one on the 14th, and that's all that I've done in this book so far. Um, my next one that I'm planning on doing is this right here, but not today because um, I'm planning on starting in another book for today, a new book that I have never, color never colored in. And I'll show that to y'all in a few minutes. But yes, so far I've done one, two, three, four, five, six of them since I started Friday the 13th. And that was the um, Rachel Mint Skulls Yard Grayscale Art Coloring Book. Now, the book that I'm planning on starting in now, and if you're in about, give me about 15, 20 minutes, is the Ad Talk Coloring Book by Chibi Hara, Jade Summer. Yeah, I'm planning on starting on this one, trying to do a couple of the pages in here. The one that I think I'm going to, you know, I always like, I don't, sometimes I might scramble through the book and find one and do it in the middle of the book, but I think I'm going to start from the beginning, so this is, the picture that I'm going to do today and after if I get that one finished in time if it's not too late I'll you know go on to the next one but this is a really cute book and yeah I'm gonna start this one today do I'll probably end up doing about three maybe four or five pages in here and then I'll get tired of it and go on to a next one And I think this book has two copies. Yeah, see, she's got this one set for two copies. So if you buy this book and you like, well, it's got the same pictures in the back. This is the second copy, and this, you know, and this is the first. So it's always good if you color here and you mess up or if you have somebody you want to share with or maybe like i want to call color this one like a pastel goth or dark goth or whatever and then the next one you know i want to color different shades or whatever i've got it to do it or you can share it with somebody or if, if i mess up and really bad and i have to rip it out and throw it away i got my second one i can go to but yeah i'm starting this book today and she's going to be the first one that i start <clears throat> and I don't really have a certain color story to follow. I'm just a you know, look at the picture, go to my colors, and grab a color. I'm just spontaneously coloring. I don't really think about what, how, you know, what I'm doing or nothing like that. I, when I start. I just go, I just do it. I just get into it. And how it turns out is how it turns out. I don't like, well, is that color going to look good there? Or if that's going to blend in together. I don't really care if it does or don't. It ends up how it ends up. All right, everybody. That's all I wanted to do was, you know, to show y'all what book I'm getting ready to start in. And the book that I have been working in. And I have made several, um shorts here lately and but they're not getting any done